How did it all start? In 1917, at the same time Our Lady of Fatima was appearing to the little children, St. Maximian Kolbe was in Rome as a seminarian getting his formation. And what happened? He saw the Masons marching in the front of St. Peter saying that Satan is going to reign. So he saw this great demonstration against the church. And he says, okay, they have an army that wants to destroy the teachings of the faith. So I am going to try to create a spiritual army that's going to counteract this. And so he decides as this young man to start the Militia Immaculate. As the movement started with the MI, his example must have been extraordinary because he started to gather other young men to follow him, to trust in Mary and the making a consecration to Our Lady. So all these friars started coming and he wanted to start out right away with evangelization. So he started to create printing presses, distribution, and, and not only did he do magazines, then he went into books. I mean, he was just a very brilliant genius of a man. So he had a lot of order compared to a lot of other men. He had a million people subscribing to his magazine. In Japan, he did the same thing. He started up a monastery there. And if you think about it, with the Knights of the Immaculata, we just continued to do that work. In Brazil, they've got a TV station. They got radio going. We're carrying on that work of the Knights of the Immaculata using the media. So really, Father Colby was ahead of his time. 